Hello everyone, my name is Sujata Kar. I'm an associate professor with the Department of Management Studies, IIT Roorkee. Today, I'm here to talk about a course that I'm going to float on the NPTEL website. So I take pleasure in introducing this course. The title of the course is Principles of Behavioral Economics, where I have tried to present the important developments that has taken place in the field of behavioral economics placing it contextually alongside the mainstream one. Mainstream economics is also alternatively called the traditional economics, standard economics, th theory or neoclassical economics. Behavioral economics started getting its present day shape primarily from the 1970s onwards with the seminal works of Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky. Alongside other notable contributors like R.H. Thaler, George Lowenstein, Colin Kammerer in later periods, just to name a few. But even before that, people started observing many anomalies with the mainstream economics. A notable contributor of the same was Maurice Ellis, who extens extensively worked in the 1950s on the anomalies of classical economics. Currently, behavioral economics is perceived by some to be a contender of the mainstream economics while Many consider it to complement the mainstream or neoclassical economics. Now this is for us to explore whether behavioral economics is a contender or it complements. The course can be thought to be organized in six sections. Section 1 introduces the course in eight modules. So first, one to eight modules are devoted to introduction. Then in the next 10 modules, that is modules 9 to 18, we discuss certain concepts of beliefs, heuristics and biases as an introduction to relevance of the emergence of behavioral economics. The next 12 modules like modules 19 to 30 deal with decision making under uncertainty where we talk about first Bayesian probability analysis and then the prospect theory as offered by Daniel Kahneman and Amos Tversky. In the next, from modules 31 to 40, they are devoted to the works of Taylor on mental accounting, followed by the next 10 modules on the intertemporal choice models, and the last 10 modules are on strategic interactions. So I welcome you all to register for the course and explore the content further. Thank you.